and uh, how many people is that? Twenty thousand. That's uh, a lot of something. people. And, and and Elton John held the record before we broke it. And the reason we broke it is we were in a center stage in the middle, and there's only four of us doing stand up. So it was a, it's, nobody will ever have a smaller stage. Wow. For that That's big hilarious. show there. Right, right. How could they? And that was right before we filmed Blue Collar One. Dude, uh, Josh Wolf showed me a picture when he opened up for Larry the Cable Guy. He opened up at some football arena. <laughs> He's on stage and he takes a, like a selfie out looking at the audience. It's the craziest thing you've ever seen in your life. See if you can find it. Josh Wolf uh, opening up for Larry the Cable Guy selfie. It's fu- I don't even know if he put it online. He showed it to me on his phone. It's fucking bananas. There's 50,000 people there. You know, fifty thousand. Oh yeah, people. he was doing. He was doing crazy, crazy, crazy numbers. Insane numbers. Yep. Like, and didn't even talk about it. You know, there was a lot of people that were hating on him. He couldn't be a nicer guy. He's also a great pace, rhythm, and timing one-liner guy. Yes. You know, and uh, as good as a gift. I've seen him just beat crowds to death. Funny dude. And uh, and gifted, and and also has done it. You know, he's totally paid his dues. You know, hundred percent. I met him in 92, I think. Well, you've known him longer than I have. Holy shit. Look at that fucking crowd. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Yeah. I haven't played this place. Look at that fucking crowd. That's got to be be Nebraska, right? So, right? Everybody's wearing red. That's got to be Memorial Stadium in uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. That is one of the most insane crowds I've ever seen in my life. But it makes sense. He's got great fucking timing, man. And I met him, like I said, in 92, I think, at the um, Comedy Works in Montreal when Jimbo used to run the joint. And uh, he was a great guy, man, back then. Even back then, he was a, I think he was a, he was a radio personality in Florida at right. the time. You know, he was just and that, getting on and the And Larry the Cable Guy was a character he did in that, and that he would bring into a show for one joke, and, 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 and it kind of just took over. Fucking crazy. And people don't know, like, he's Dan Whitney. He's like yeah. a regular person. Right, regular comic. Yeah, but know? he's trapped. Right. He is Larry the Cable well, Guy for life, trapped in a place son. you'd like to be trapped, right? Oh, a, yeah. A place yeah. where you're making $30 million a year. But and, it's like this marvelous Mrs. Maisel thing except he's that's who he actually is i mean not, he doesn't have to wear a fat suit or anything crazy but well his you know his uh, dad was a preacher and a pig farmer from nebraska wow and uh and so he does this uh, a great auctioneer voice where i don't believe he sold a little danny whitney from across the street wow a preacher and a pig farmer yep. holy shit 